Welcome to the NLSS HID Reader Training Tutorial. This tutorial will provide an overview of the HID readers currently supported by NLSS. Upon completion of this course, you will have gained an understanding of the configuration required on the HID Reader to prepare it to be configured within the NLSS Gateway, and to ultimately become part of the Unified Security Suite. The NLSS Gateway configuration of the controller will be covered in another training series. This tutorial is comprised of three learning areas. First, is an introduction to the currently supported HID readers, including some key benefits and features. Second is the installation of the HID readers which is broken down into four easy to follow steps. Connect. Contact. Configure and communicate. We will cover each of these steps in detail and finish the module with a summary and instructions for obtaining more information from HID should it be necessary. Let's begin with an overview of the currently supported HID readers. First, we have the Edge Reader or ERP40. The Edge Reader is a perfect solution for new installations or renovations that require multi-class technology. The ERP40 is a single door controller with an integrated multi-class reader. The ERP40 is about the size of a traditional reader and is suitable for indoor applications only. Next, we have the Edge Plus or E400 reader. Similar to the ERP40, the E400 is also a single door controller and applicable for both new and retrofit installations. Unlike the ERP40, the E400 is suitable for indoor and outdoor applications. Additionally, the E400 accepts any weakened output making it a good solution for retrofits looking to migrate to an IP solution but with existing Wigan readers. This segment of the training covered the readers individually, pointing out the differences to be considered when choosing the appropriate reader for your application. The remainder of the training will cover the configuration as a whole, only distinguishing between the two types of readers when necessary. The HID ERP40 and E400 series readers put the control and host interface at the door, making them ideal for today's IT-centric security environments. Enabled with an RJ45 connection and 802.3AF power over Ethernet, these readers easily become part of a new or existing IP infrastructure. The browser-based interface enables easy configuration from anywhere on the network. All of the typical control features are available in a smaller form factor with the reliability of HID and at an affordable price. By combining the control and host interfaces and in many cases, leveraging existing cabling, these readers take minimal effort to install and configure. Additional information on the features and functionality of the HID readers can be found on the HID website. The installation of the HID ERP40 and E400 series readers can be broken down into four easy steps, each of which will be explained in the following slides. Step 1, Connect, includes the physical installation and wiring of the Edge device. Step 2, Contact, involves establishing communication with the Edge device via a web browser or the HID Discovery client. Step 3, Configure, prepares the Edge device to communicate with the host in this case, the NLSS Gateway. The fourth and final step, Communicate, involves the verification of successful communication between the host and the Edge device. The following information is provided only as a guideline and to demonstrate the ease of installation of the HID, ERP40 and E400 series readers. For specific instructions and manufacturer's recommendations, please consult the associated manuals accessible via the URLs provided. For new installations, both readers are typically mounted using a single gang-style electrical box. The specific mounting procedure will vary based on the environment. The ERP40 is designed for indoor applications only, while the E400 is suitable for indoor and outdoor applications. The connections required may vary based on the customer requirements. In most cases, terminations will need to be made for various inputs and outputs. For example, a door monitor or contact, a strike, and possibly a request to exit or rex. At a minimum, for interface to the NLSS gateway, a single RJ45 connection is required for network and 802.3AF power. As mentioned previously, installers should follow the manufacturer's installation instructions. 
A good point of reference is the HID Edge Reader and Edge Plus Reference Card 82000-902ENEN which provides details on jumper settings, pin layouts, etc. If the HID Edge will be connected to a network using a static IP address or if the discovery tool is not installed on your PC, use the Direct Connect or Virtual Port method to establish contact with the Edge device. In order to use this method, you must have a PC with a web browser, Windows 2000 or XP, and have your computer configured to use DHCP. To begin, disconnect your computer from the network and use the existing Ethernet cable to connect directly to the LAN PoE port on the reader. In order to contact the Edge reader, you need to ensure that your computer has been assigned an automatic private IP address also referred to as an APIPA address. To obtain an APIPA address, on your Windows machine connected to the device, click Start. Select Run from the available list. The Run dialog will appear. Enter CMD, as shown. Click OK. The Windows command prompt will open. Type in ipconfig slash renew, and press enter. Because no DHCP server is available, you will obtain an APIPA address similar to 169.254.x.x, where x is a random number between 1 and 254. This process can take up to 60 seconds to complete. Proceed to the next step once the command has completed and you are returned to the command prompt. Open your preferred web browser. For this example, we will use Google Chrome. Enter the IP address of the Edge device that you are directly connected to. The default IP address for the Edge Reader and Edge Plus is 169.254.242.121. If prompted for login credentials, enter admin for the username and leave the password blank. Click Login. The web interface for the Edge Reader will appear. Starting with the first section. Connection Selection. Select the radio button next to network if the controller is to communicate with the host via a single network connection. This is the typical setup for interface with an NLSS gateway. Moving on to the basic network setup. If DHCP is preferred, select the radio button next to DHCP. Otherwise, click Static. Enter the following required fields. IP address. Subnet mask. Default gateway. And the primary DNS server. Optionally, a secondary DNS server can be entered. Next we need to move on to the basic central station and host communication setup. First, select the radio button next to IP address. This address should match the address assigned to your NLSS gateway. Enter the appropriate IP address. Optionally, the host name of the gateway can be used. Finally, we need to assign the Here I Am interval. This is the frequency in which the controller will send heartbeat messages to the gateway. These messages are important to ensure that the gateway knows that communication to the controller is still active. Set this value to 20. Click Submit. Upon clicking Submit, you will be presented with a summary of all the changes that were made to the device. These changes will appear in red. Verify all of your information is correct and click Save to apply the changes. Please note that the process for the actual configuration, after discovery, will be identical to the steps you just completed here. The alternative method for configuration of the reader is to use the HID Discovery tool. This tool and the installation instructions can be downloaded from HID at the URL provided. The discovery tool requires that you have a Windows XP computer with .NET 2.0 installed. The primary difference between this method and the virtual port or direct connect method is that the discovery tool doesn't require you to connect directly to the reader for configuration. Instead, it discovers all edge devices on the same network subnet allowing you to select them individually for configuration. This could be useful in situations where the readers have already been installed and or there are large numbers of readers in the system. Additionally, once discovered, 
the configuration is identical to that covered in the virtual port or direct connect method. To install the HID Discovery tool, go to the URL provided previously. When prompted for the file download, click Open. The Discovery Client zip file will open in a separate Explorer window. Double-click the Discovery GUI to continue. If prompted with a security warning, click Run to proceed. The HID Discovery GUI installation will open. Click Next on the welcome screen. When prompted for the installation folder, accept the default or browse to your preferred location. The Everyone Radio button should be selected. Click Next. On the confirmation screen, click Next to begin the installation. The installation may take several minutes. Once complete, you will receive a confirmation of a successful install. Click Close. Now that the Discovery tool has been installed, you can use it to discover available Edge devices on the network. On your Windows PC, click Start. Select programs from the available options. Click VertX Toolbox folder in the list. Select Discovery GUI to open the application. Upon opening the Discovery GUI, a request for all devices on the network is sent. Devices that are found on the same subnet will appear in the list with the following information for each device. Type, MAC address, host name, and internal ID. If multiple units are found, you can use the blink on button to blink the LED on a specific edge reader to confirm you are working with the appropriate device. Once you have identified the correct device, Click Configure Unit to open the web interface for the chosen device. This is the same interface covered previously for the Direct Connect or Virtual Port method. Refer to those instructions as necessary to complete the configuration. Now the Edge device is connected, contacted, and configured. It is recommended that you reboot the device by removing and reconnecting the power. The Edge device should come back online within 20 to 60 seconds. You can now move on to the NLSS Gateway interface to verify that you are able to communicate with the device. Open your preferred web browser. Browse to your NLSS Gateway by entering the appropriate address. When prompted, enter your username and password. Click Login. Once the NLSS interface has loaded, click Configuration at the bottom of the screen. When available, Click Access Control on the left. Click Controllers to view the available controllers on the network. A list of controllers will appear at the top right of the screen. Click the appropriate controller to begin configuration. The details for the controller will be available at the bottom of the screen once it has been selected. The NLSS configuration will be covered in another training series. However, there are a few things that you should be familiar with from the controller's screen to be able to verify communication with a newly configured HID reader or controller. Note that new controllers that have not been configured will show up in the list with a connection state of not connected and with an administrative state of pre-provisioned. We will conclude this training series with a summary of the information covered in this module and recap of the benefits of the HID readers. The HID ERP40 and E400 series readers put the controller and host interface at the door, making it an ideal solution for today's IT-centric security needs. By leveraging existing cabling and network infrastructure, these devices integrate seamlessly into a customer's environment and make for a simple installation. The installation procedure, starting with the physical install and ending with verification of communication, is broken down into four easy to follow steps. Perhaps one of the most powerful features or benefits of this solution is the ability to make it part of a unified platform. More specifically, the NLSS Unified Security Suite. By combining video surveillance, access control, intrusion, and video analytics we are able to provide a more holistic view of a customer's security infrastructure, thereby increasing their situational awareness. Lastly, 
The HID readers covered in this module can be ordered through NLSS partners and distributors using the parts numbers shown here. This slide provides a summary of the various URLs and resources referenced throughout this training module. Please make note of this information for future reference. Click Next to complete this training series.